Hello, welcome. This is James O'Gorman. This is the first video that I'm doing for the Path to Programmable uh, program that uh, Element 14 has put together with Avnet. Um, just received my board here in the mail and I'll go through and show you what we've got. Um, came with a USB cord, which this can do standard USB, but with this board it'll work as a JTAG interface so you can actually program the chip. Um, quick start guide and um, this is actually a software license key, so on here um, it has instructions to download the software and activate it, so that's very useful. Um, so here's the board itself. Uh, we can see right away um, it's packed pretty full. Uh, we've got the standard Arduino headers, so we've got the analog, we've got a bunch of power headers here, and then the digital ones on the right. Um, they're adding in what they call PMOD expansion, so it's a bunch of additional I.O. that you can get through these ports. Um, and then right here we've got a microphone, then we have accelerometer and temperature. Um, on this side we've got some LEDs, uh, we've got switches for power and boot mode, and some uh, USB connections, and it can be a host, and um, this is actually labeled as USB uh, JTAG UART. So this actually goes through, I believe, um, this FTDI chip right here on top. And that would be used to actually um, bridge the USB to FTDI to actually flash the chip. Um, right here we have the Murata um, USB uh, class, or sorry, uh, Bluetooth, classic Bluetooth and uh, Bluetooth low energy and also Wi-Fi and that comes out to a little antenna um, off to the side there you can kind of see. So that's where you get the wireless connectivity. Um, here's the main processor with a chip on it and I believe this is 50th week 2017. Um, so that's the actual Xilinx processor. Right below it we get 512 megs of uh, RAM. Uh, over here we get uh, flash memory. Um, 128 megs uh, flash memory. And then up here we have a Micron um, 8 gig MMC. So that's mass storage like an SD card, but it's uh, 8 gigabytes right there in the chip. So that'll hold all your program uh, stuff. Uh, and then down here from Dialog, we have the power supply chip. And I've seen at least uh, three rails on here, five volt, 1.8, and uh, it does have 3.3. It might even have 2.5, I have not reviewed a schematic for this yet, but um, it's packed pretty full. Uh, not much on the back, just some passives, um, a lot of really tiny surface mount stuff, and very nicely they've actually added little um, rubber feet. Um, so you can actually set the board down, hopefully without shorting anything out. So they've done a nice job there, and they've even labeled them um, bumper one, bumper two, uh, I'm missing bumper five. I don't know about that. And I got three and four there. So, um, so that's the actual board, and I'll post some pictures of this in the blog post. And I'm going to see uh, what it takes to get this powered up and um, get a blink sketch running on it, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Thank you.